the chainsaw can fell a tree and quickly turn logs into lumber. Production begins with the plastic housing. Three aluminum inserts must be molded into the housing to provide solid anchors for other parts. A robot picks up the inserts one at a time and delivers them to an injection molding machine. Then, it places the inserts into a mold at the front of the machine. The machine injects melted plastic into the mold to make the chainsaw's engine cover. During the molding process, the metal inserts become integrated into the housing. The robot carries each engine cover to an automated cutter that removes any unwanted bits of plastic. The scraps drop into a bin below. The hot covers cool for about 10 minutes. Then the robot moves them to the next station. Now it's time to move on to the engine and install a spring system for the starter cord. The two-stroke engine slides into the plastic casing and a spark plug is popped into place. After the crankshaft is lubricated, the chainsaw's automatic oiling system is installed. The carburetor is attached, along with the pull cord starter system. The saw gets an air filter. Then the chain bar's stud bolts are dipped in adhesive and screwed into the inserts molded into the plastic housing. The rear handle goes on, along with a safety release trigger. The front handle is screwed into place and the oil line gets a filter attachment that lubricates the bar and chain. That will strain out any impurities. Next, workers install bearings and the crankshaft clutch system. The clutch is the link between the engine and chain. When it's engaged, the chain will move around the cutting bar. Finally, the metal bar and chain blade are packed in a protective sleeve. Once the saw's chain blade is installed, the owner has a power tool with teeth for almost any job.